Popular as one of South Africa's football bad boys, Football Navigator takes a look at Junior Kanye's lifestyle in 2021. But before we resume, please take your time to like this video as well as sharing it across all soccer fanatics. Junior Atabo Kanye is a former South African football player who was born on the 18th of June 1985, meaning as of 2021, he is 36 years old. The former Kaiser Chief star was born in Daviton in Gauteng. It has been well documented that Junior Kanye went broke just a few months after he retired from professional football. The former Kaiser Chief star now earns a living as a football analyst for YouTube channel iDisky TV. Channel seems to be doing really well with an average view of about 50,000 views per post. His estimated net worth, according to the rich and famous, is about 700,000 rands. There was a sense of jubilance on social media when former Kaiser Chiefs dribbling wizard Junior Kanye showed off his car. For the last few years, Kanye, who was deemed one of the bad boys of South African football, has thrived to show that he has indeed changed and is now living a clean life. The former Kaiser Chief star, who claims to have had about 15 accidents, took to social media to show off his economical Renald Quit. The player posted a picture of himself with a relatively cheap quid with the caption, It feels good to have my own car again. Most fans took to Twitter to congratulate Kanye on taking huge strides in rebuilding his life. Despite Junior Kanye's tales of taking out girls and spending heavily on them in clubs and parties, Junior Kanye is currently singing with no records of any girlfriend. Football Navigator also has it on good authority that the former Kaiser Chief star has no children. In an interview with Robert Marawa, Junior Kanye explains how he went from hero to zero. The player said that I got Man of the Match awards in my debut against Mami Lodi Sundowns, Black Leopards, Ajax Cape Town and in the Soweto Derby against Orlando Pirates. I picked up 10 consecutive Man of the Match awards in my first 10 games. After 15 games, I was called into the office by the club and they said they wanted to increase my salary from 6000 to 12500 a month. But instead of embracing his good fortune, this salary increase landed Kanye amongst the wrong company. He was soon spiraling down on a path he would battle to emerge from. The player also recalls a time where he met a friend from Soweto who stayed around Southgate. And he said they would go to schools in Soweto in a maroon Hyundai car. The school learners would go crazy over him and being a Kesa Chiefs player, normal schooling would be disrupted during the commotion and this landed the former Kesa Chiefs star in hot water. The player said that I was called into the Kaiser Chiefs office and they told me that they don't want a repeat of what happened. I res but the problems didn't end there for the Daviton born player. As his frequent outing at pubs around Johannesburg after games landed him in serious trouble. On one occasion, he was threatened by four gunmen. The player said that after one game against Supersport, I met up with two guys who claimed to love me and went to a pub in Fort Loras. The pub is called Nandi Nice. We got in and sat nicely at a VIP area. As we were enjoying ourselves, the lights went on and a woman saw me. She screamed and came to me and grabbed me. She asked me to go out with her. I went out with her and I dropped her off at a place the following day which was on Sunday. One of my friends warned me prior to going out with her that she had a man and that man is going to kill me if, I, if he finds out I was with her. Soon after that, on Sunday night, 
Junior Kanya said that he visited home. I saw a grey BMW passing by. I turned, uh, it turned around and pegged next to me, with two guys seated at the back and two in front. The guys at the back rolled the window down and told me to get inside the car. I said I... I couldn't get into a car with people I don't know. One of the guys raised this shirt up and showed me a gun by the stomach. He told me they were actually sent to just kill him straight, without asking any questions. The Kaiser Chief Star said I entered the car and all four men showed me their guns. They asked me why I was going around sleeping with another man's wife. I explained to them how I met the woman at the pub and luckily for me, because of being liked by one of the guys, they let me go without hating me. The player said that my problem still continued. I got into a lot of bad habits. I got my first car while I was at Kaiser Chiefs. It was a Golf GTI limited edition. I wasn't perfect in driving, but I could go anywhere I wanted. I would go even to Botswana. I have never gone to test for a driver's license and I had about 15 car accidents. With my first car, I had nine accidents. The insurance company would complain. I would get into an accident, the car would be fixed, and I would get into another accident, and the car would be fixed again. I couldn't drive, and sometimes I was driving under the influence of alcohol. As a result of this bad boy tendency, the once talented youngster lost it all. The player said that after wasting my talent and career at Kaiser Chiefs, I was damaged a lot. I remember the bank took my first car. I lost a house. I had a 1.2 million house. The Junior Kanye Foundation one of Junior Kanye's achievements is his total commitment to the development of the community through charity work. He has done this for quite some time before finally starting a foundation. He set it up with the main aim of challenging and changing lives of unprivileged youngsters in the community. The star's bottom line is to give back to the society in addition to providing a platform that needy kids can get help. Kanye Foundation was not just set up to nurture the youngsters who are passionate about football, but also to improve society through the provision of quality education. When it comes to education, the children are provided with shoes and receive some motivation. Junior Kanye dreams of creating a Junior Kanye Academy as part of his foundation. He looks forward to encouraging and changing people's lives.